Hi, friends, welcome back to Al's Play World, bringing you some more Heroes of the Storm. Today, we're going to check out Prince Arthas himself. Glory to the Scourge! Welcome to the Cursed Hollow. Enemy team, Tychus, Vala, Sonia, Abitha, Rainer. Friendly team, Thrall, Tychus, Nova, Gasol, and myself, Arthas. In, while, while the loading screen was happening, you know how you get to preview your team for like a split second right before it kicks in? I saw my team and I was like, please don't let them have a healer. Please, Raven Lord, don't let them have a healer. And I am fortunate enough to see that they don't, but they do have Fala and Rainer, so it's going to be a really fun game with lots of people dying left and right. Arthas, our Q ability is Death Coil, which can do damage to an enemy or heal us if we use it on us. Our W ability is Howling Blast, which will freeze people in that area, which is a really good route. And our E ability is Frozen Tempest, which will deal damage around us. Uh, it's really good for clearing minion waves and whatnot. Our D ability is Frostbound Hungers, it'll strike people and give us mana back, and plus it does a lot of damage. And it can also be built to give us a lot of uh, of mana back, but because they do have a Tigus Avala. And Sony and a Rainer. I want to be picking up block. This is a no-brainer. I need to tank for this team. I need to try to stay alive. That's what we're gonna do. And hopefully we can uh, not have to deal with either. We do have Rainer down here in the bottom lane. He's gonna get cute. So if he gets within cannon range, he's gonna die because he doesn't know Nova's there. But I can freeze him. He does see Nova though at some point. So we're gonna jump in here and try to maybe freeze him there. And then do as much damage as we can on him. And we're gonna death coil ourselves and walk away. And catch we walk away. As you can see, we don't want to do much more than that. We do get pushed back there from Rainer. We're gonna death coil ourselves, mostly just so we can, you know, stay alive. And now we're gonna whack away. Can Sonia get the? I mean, Nova get the kill. I don't know why I get Sonia, Nova, and Vala confused. They don't even sound similar, but it happens so often in my videos. Like I'm like, oh, this this random lady person. All right, let's. Uh, oh, she does walk into a, <laughs> in a mine there from Avatar. This is a little regrettable. Uh, let's see if we can freeze them. Ah, I'm very scary. We're scary. We're scary. The main thing that I'm doing is just trying to push this lane back a little bit. I don't want to. I don't want to let it get into full range. Although it might be a good opportunity for me to get a kill. Thrall going down there in the top lane as well as Gasol in the middle lane actually. Uh, devastating, which means we're not getting a speed. And Tychus on the top lane. This is not a great start for our for our teammates there. We do push the lane back, and we. Oh my God, really? That's that's devastating. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I feel really terrible about that is how I feel. Our entire team being really aggressive. I'm assuming. I'm not really watching the fight. Maybe it was a brilliant play from the enemy team. But uh, so far, the only reason why you would die here is because of precisely that. We're letting uh, uh, Rainer... Again, I'm confusing people today. Rainer do a lot of damage there, mostly because we're trying to deal with this push. Oh, he's done in tower range, though, sadly. And he still pushes back. But now I have to back out because I have no mana or health. Oh, uh, next time we're gonna be picking up is increased damage boost from Frostmourne Hungers, because that's gonna basically allow us to give us a little bit of a uh, boost. It does look like we killed Tychus, so that's good. That's a good thing. Gather tribute. And we have the tribute spawning in the top lane. We're gonna head there now, even though we're not getting XP, XP from the bottom lane, because there is a fight ensuing, and we do get a kill there on the enemy Sony when the thrall goes down. So I guess what we're gonna try to bank on right now, because we're far one level behind in experience, is to try to get these tributes. Try to be really good about it and uh, and zone a little bit. It does look like enemy tech is coming here. We're gonna scare him off. We're gonna scare him off. He does poke us with that avatar hat. But what we're doing is just zoning so we can get that uh, that tribute. And now we can casually walk away. We even want anything to do with this guy. But we have the whole enemy engaging here, so I'm gonna try to freeze him. Jump on Vala. And now we gotta walk away as well because we're taking a lot of damage. Oh man. This is bad news bears. This is bad news bears. Gonna go straight for the healing well. Actually gonna death coil and see if I can help somebody. We can't. Turn that off, hit up the healing well, and then head back down here to try to get a kill on somebody with uh, the friendly Nova. Ah, you! What's up? I think there's an enemy this way, so if we can catch you, catch Tychus, we can maybe. We're gonna heal ourselves. Where's the friendly Nova? She was right here a second ago. We could have probably tried to kill him, but I don't know where the enemy team was. I don't know why she went top. Uh, I got no words. I have no words. And now we're in a little bit of a pickle because we have no health. And the next tribute is spawning right there. And I am the tank. So uh, what are we going to do? We're going to try to catch Tigers out of position is what we're going to do. We're going to try to catch Tigers out of position. We don't. We're going to death call ourselves every chance we get. Try to zone these guys out. Let's not get chased, though. Let's not get chased. Let's pick a talent. Uh, rune tap, which is gonna allow our consecutive strikes to heal us. Ah, man, I might die here. 
I'm gonna freeze her out and walk away. Hopefully that'll be enough to get a kill on her. Somebody, please, for the love of God, kill her. They do pick up the kill her on Sonia. Oh my goodness, this is an intense It's like so much DPS, it's hilarious. Like, it's kind of crazy. Let's back on out, try to get some health back. It does look like Nova there having some adventures in the wilderness, but she is able to get away. On the bottom lane, Thrall getting punished by Rainer, so I'm going to try to make my way over there. Uh, yes. I'm going to make my way over there. I believe the next tree should be spawning on the bottom right or the top right. Either one of those. It does alternate based on where it's been spawning recently. But I don't remember. I've not been making mental notes. Thrall being super bolsy. Uh, I, I don't know if I body blocked him there. I do not know if I body blocked him. Maybe. But I was trying to go for the kill. He shouldn't have been so like pushy anyway though. So I take if I body blocked him I take partial responsibility. But not really that much for it. Because he should have known better. I'm going to head up here and try to get XP from the middle lane. Because we are going to be heading level 10 before us. It's not something that we want. We do have Tykus down there in the bottom lane. Who's going to be able to deal with that. I'm going to freeze the enemy Tychus, start doing damage to him, but he does an absurd amount of damage. Let's death coil ourselves and keep walking away. He might be able to get the kill with a grenade. He, he does. Nothing we could have done. And the tree spawns on the bottom of the left. That's where it spawns. Because the other tree was here, so it makes sense. As you can see, uh, enemies converging. Nova chasing Tychus, but not doing much other than that. She does get a lot of damage, plus that attack there from Thrall. And we get to pick up the kill, but that was really unfortunate positioning. Now the friendly tech is going to go down. I'm going to try to make my way over there. It's Gas is going to go down as well as Thrall. I don't think it's worth uh, fighting for that one. We have two, so we're just gonna, I'm just going to tell him to walk away and try to leech some XP from the top lane. Try to hit level 10 so we can get our heroic abilities and maybe even out the odds on this gear game. It looks like Rainer pushing the bottom forward. About to destroy that in a second. Uh, no. They only... Have one need XP behind. Alright, Chris trying to do my best to communicate. That's not trying to be snarky, it's just make sure they understand what I'm trying to do because uh, we can't be that far behind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be picking up a Centricosa, which is a silly idea. It's a really silly idea when you think about what I'm actually doing. Uh, because uh, Army of the Dead would give more survivability, but if I can get a good Centricosa, that's going to slow down the enemy team, put him out of position, and then I believe my team has enough DPS to where we can actually take care of this, no problem. We're going to clear this lane out as fast as we can, although we do have an engagement at the bottom and we do have mercenaries, so we're going to make our way down there, see if we can flank, if anybody dares to go somewhere else. It looks like they want to get the boss. I can get behind that, although we do get seen there by the enemy, um, Abathur. And we lag a little bit, which makes me walk right into boss range. And we're going to try to kill this guy as fast as we can. Will it be fast enough to be able to get the tribute? We don't know. We don't know if it will be. All right, now let's let's hoof it over there. Maybe Thrall can get a chain landing up. I doubt he will, though. He's kind of out of position. It looks like Nova's going to be able to cap that. No problem. Ah, the fox makes it, but not quite fast enough. We do have a strong push going in the bottom. It's not the end of the world, though, because we now can opt to... Um, Sorry, Friend the Cinder goes down there, which is going to freeze people, do a lot of damage, and that's exactly what we picked her, because it allows us to do exactly that. Oh my god, so much damage, we're going to be able to pick up the triple kill there, just from being frosty, and being just really good positioning. And now we have a strong push going middle, we're going to kill all the mercenaries, kill all their forts. Let's turn that off for now. And the next time, uh, the next ability we're going to be picking up is reducing incoming ability damage, so that way we can get a little tankier. They don't really have that, much, that many stuns, so I'm not too concerned about that. And now we're going to be able to take down this fort, no problem. It looks like Gasol in the bottom lane doing a decent job of helping the boss push along. Because Abathur had to pop his ultimate, his heroic ability, just to defeat, to defeat that. And now we have a really strong push coming. Uh, so just, yeah, as soon as we get this. This is exactly the right move I right hear, I believe. Although, if Vala wants to get cute again. Now we got to back away. We do dodge that stun. It looks like Tyke is going to get taken out there. Sadly, there's not much you can do. But uh, now we're going to try to just run. Just run. Just run away. We're going to freeze both of them and walk away casually. And I hit up that healing well so we can re-engage by the boss if we can. I'm going to see if I can come from behind. And uh, come here from behind and try to help out. I'm going to say danger, danger. And I'm going to try to hit in there as fast as I can. I'm going to get the death coil off. Ugh. And the Syndra goes out, which is going to be able to help us pick up the kill there on Vala. And now we have Sony is surrounded and completely out of position. We're going to Death Coil her, which is going to allow us to pick up the kill. And now we're going to zone for our friendly Nova, which is going to give us the tribute, which is exactly the win we needed. As you can see, Abathur uh, walking around getting vision. 
but now we do have a strong push going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not go that way because that's Rainer. And I'm going to try to walk away. I'm going to try to walk away. Let's mount up. Is the healing well? What's the time? Right? 55 seconds. Uh, we should try to push something. So I guess I'm going to push top. Or, uh, yeah, let's push top with Gaslow. That's what we're going to do. We need to, again, remember, whenever you have a tribute, you need to be doing something. Either doing a strong push, killing the boss, doing something. The other thing that's going to allow me to do is, because I do have that rune tap, every time I auto-attack these guys, I'm going to heal up a little bit. It's exactly what we want. Got to keep an eye out for the enemy team, though. Which is coming right now. Who's coming right now. Gas is going to be able to put out a couple turrets down there. And we should be able to walk away. Well, we have uh, Arthas here as well. We do dodge that stun. That was a little bit of a waste on her. A little bit of a misplay. Keep auto-attacking this fort mostly to heal myself up and help the push go along. It looks like Tychus does go down in the bottom lane. Oh, can we get that frost there? We do pick her up and we do the damage and we do kill her. Let's pick up a new talent. Uh, we're going to always heal and increase self-heal on death code, which is going to make us a little tankier. Again, we don't have a healer. Normally, I like to go for that uh, Frostmourne uh, enhancement, but since we're here, let's do that that way. Let's head this way and try to help Nova with that uh, Tychus kill. Does that do damage? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And now we're going to walk away casually from that drill. It's fine. <laughs> I didn't really know if that if that uh, that was gonna work. That's the That's why I went quiet for a second. I was like, I'm just gonna just gonna do this. And our giant magic dragon really uh, does a lot of damage. I kind of like it a lot. Again, I always pick Army of the Dead when I'm playing um, Arthas. Well, the most time. So this is actually pretty cool. Oh man, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this guy and death coil him. Death coil him, I said, and do enough damage to pick him up. And now I'm gonna go in here and face tank these guys for a second because I have enough sustain. And as you can see, Abathur wasting his uh, his top hat there by picking the target that I was focusing. Which is fine. It's a mistake, you know, but it happens. Uh, if I can go here, that's what I'm going to try to do. We Now, they only have one person dead, so I'm going to back out if I can. Uh, let's see if we can pick up these guys, maybe? Well, they do have vision of me, so if I try to pick these up right now, we might be shut out of luck. So, uh, it's a little dangerous. Let's go for it. Oh, never mind. Here comes the enemy team. Here comes the enemy team, so we're going to just keep our positioning. We know that Nova's there, she can give us a little bit of vision if they're coming. Here comes a strong engage from the enemy team on this side. Let's see if we can jump on them. The one target when I jump on is Tychus immediately. We're also going to do Zindragoza. We're just going to freeze both of them. We do grab the mercenaries, and now we uh, can buck away and go kill that boss. That should be the thing to do, since now they have to be dealing with that push. I'm going to pop my E just so we can do a little bit more damage and make sure we don't get uh, body blocked in there. And death coil again, because uh, we did pick up the healing, right? Yeah, that's exactly what we picked up. I forgot about it. I was like, do we, do we have it? And let's turn that off so we save a little bit of mana. As you can see, Arthur's not really mana intensive, which is something I really like. Now we have to go for that. Uh, luckily, we do have a boss on the top, though, so that means that this push is going to be worthwhile and a little bit easy to deal with. We're going to get dismounted there by the minion, but that's not a big deal, because our main priority is getting to this tribute in time. Does look like it's spawning. Do we have any enemies on it? We do not. So now it's a matter of positioning. Tyke is going down there. I guess I'm just going to go here and grab it. Since nobody else seems to be contending. They do have to deal with that boss. We do see vision of their Vala trying to come in here. And the rest of the enemy team on the bottom lane. Now we're going to go here and try and gauge further. We do have Nova. If she gets a pinning shot off, should be fine. Uh, but it's too late. It's too late. Now let's go back to our boss. That's what we're going to do. At this point in the game, what you want to do is press your advantage. As you can see, we're going to have a pretty decent amount of hero damage for a tank. And what we want to do is not throw the game at this point. At this point, the important thing is not throwing the game. I do walk into that <laughs> stun completely ridiculously for no reason. Uh, because I want to tank for some reason. Oh, that's, uh, never mind. I got fooled by the decoy because I was not paying attention. And all I saw was a health bar. And I was scratching my nose. And I get hit again. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what I was saying is you don't want to throw the game. So right now... We could have gone for something aggressive, or we can just get the boss, and then that will do a push. And then every time we can basically get a tribute. It looks like Tiger's going to go down there. Nothing we can do to save him, although I can try to freeze him. Doing a lot of damage. That awesome ultimate going out there from Gasly, but it does look like regrettably it's going to be moved there. I do spray on the zero goes, but I am going to miss, and I have to reposition myself. Let's death coil on ourselves and try to mount up so we can go there and catch the enemy... Uh, Abathur's copy there, and just start attacking her so that she, you know, she doesn't kill our guys. Do as much damage as you can. 
We do pick up the kill there. That's uh, that's the entire team, I believe. Yeah, they're all completely clean. So that makes it uh, easy for nobody there to grab number two. I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna tell them to get that. I need to get some some little bit of health, a little bit of mana, so we're ready for the next team fight in 30 seconds, which is gonna be rather quick. Uh, if we do pick up that, plus the boss pushing having in the bottom lane, gonna be able to take out those towers. The next curse should be extremely positive. How are we doing here? We do lose the gates there, gates and towers here, and the fort and the bottom lane. But we're already pushing them down to their keeps, which is really good. And this push is going to be extremely powerful. The next time we're going to be picking up is we're going to improve Zendragosin because I feel like I'm tanky enough after picking up all that healing. I haven't really had a moment in the team fight where I'm like, oh my god, they're just melting me down. So, because of that reason, I'm just going to basically improve our Zendragosin. And uh, should be enough. We do have a mule there coming out from the enemy team at some somewhere. Let's clear these minions out. And, uh, and be careful because we do know the enemy team is on the other side of that. We do have that stun from Vala coming out. We're going to freeze her. We're also going to put Cinder Gosa right there. Oh, and that amazing bombardment from Nova going to do a ton of damage and pick up the kill there. We completely devastate them. We're knocking down their front doors and I'm just going to face tank this. And you can see Cinder Gosa freeze the structures, which is really good because it allows us to come in here and do a ton of damage to these uh, without even worrying about the cannons firing. So... Now they're back, though, so we're going to back away casually. Looks like Thrall going really deep there. Oh, my God, can I freeze them? I can. And they are cursed now, so maybe I can get a kill on Rainer if I can. It looks like uh, Nova can come in here and snipe him. No problem. And now we're just going to auto-attack. Auto-attack for the win for days. We're basically just going to come in here, kill a keep. The bottom lane seems to be pushing really well at all. Let's just walk casually into these guys because they only have one hit point and completely clear the lane. That's going to be one keep. Pause the tower. And now we're going to help the second keep if we can. Or we can go for core if that's what you want to do. We can be super aggressive. Let's pop that. Death coil it and just attack. They only have a couple seconds to come back and combat this. So let's go for most damage. The bottom keep going down as well. I'm going to jump here on Nova. It looks like the bombardment going out. Not a problem. They do have that enemy Nova as well. The, sorry, the Avatar copy. But we do auto attack. We win 25 to 18. I hope you enjoyed the game. My name is Al. And if you like the video, remember to like, subscribe, share, whatever. I'll see you all next time.